flea market 2.0. Let's go. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble gum. So it's a little overcast, but it's nice and cool. I mean, if it doesn't rain, it's pretty nice weather for the flea market. I have to run through everything quick uh, before I film a lot. There's a little pre-con. Yes. A lot of places I can ignore my first pass through like this. And this. Glassware and beanie babies. Okay, I know I've seen these before. Okay, that's an awesome microphone. Yes. Giant on air sign. I think every child in the 80s had one of these things. Nice. Rampage and Tetris. Love it. It's always sports cards and Pokemon. <laughs> okay, we got some cards. Let's see how much he wants. Alright, so I got a Midnight Hunt uh, collector booster for four bucks. I'll take it. Alright. Love to see the Nintendo games. It is all the vinyls in the world today. You guys don't even know. Magic? Yes, it is. Okay. All right, that was a sick find. I uh, I bought some, I went to go get cash. Now I'm gonna go back and look at more. This is quite the find. He's got a mountain of cards. Okay, I got this obscene bag of cards for 150, including some major hits. Uh, I'm sweating and still shaking, but check out Mike. A <laughs> huge wingspan. There he is, an old school Aquaman. Always uranium glass here at the flea market. <laughs> My man saved these for me. Let's see what we got in here. Another couple of cards. Nothing crazy, but you know, my buddy saved these for me. Like, he put them aside, so picked them up. Cool though. Talk about awesome. Whip it good. I smell ganja. The little puppies. Yes. You know, this is a whole market if you're not buying it to like flip it or anything on eBay, but there's a lot of silver here to refine. All right, we're back for day two, and um, I'm gonna go through this these cards again. Yesterday I was rushed. It's a mountain of cards. So you see all these binders, and then this tote that I'm sitting on, and then this tote that I'm using. All oh, gotta search through. All right, done with these. Okay, a couple hours later, finished this box. Time to go through this box, and then this. All right, here we go. This is the collection from this weekend. This is day one. This is what I picked out of binders and whatnot. These are some deck boxes I grabbed, and these are two boxes of mixed stuff that I haven't really picked apart yet. I know there's some good stuff here. These were some decks, so yeah, there's some good cards. I, I mean, nothing too crazy in these. This is where the craziness is. I left a card at home that I'll show you when we review all the hits. I, I, I can't even believe that. Anyway, uh, over here is day two. I went back and uh, attacked it again. This is again what I picked out of other bulk and the binder and same with this. This is, I picked up at the last second. I grabbed this, looked in it, and I was, uh, yeah, I had to grab it. I'll show you why. Uh, this one is basically a Mercadian Masks tournament deck that maybe the rare and the foil got taken out, but the rest is fine. I, you know, I just threw that in there. This and this haven't really been sorted. So let's see what's in this stuff. I'm going to sort it all, and then... Um, yeah, we'll uh, go over all the madness. All right. I forgot to say that this represents a significant time investment. I've already spent two days, probably eight hours across the two, two days, maybe a little bit more, uh, searching through the collection, right? And then I spent an hour and a quarter each way on both days, which is another five hours. I'm gonna spend a couple hours today. And then if you ever buy a list or sell this stuff, it takes all that time. So. You have to understand that when buying collections, that it is a significant time investment. That's all I wanted to say before I started sorting all this madness. Okay.
okay, so this is the rest of day one stuff. Like uh, you can see here, these are the right way up. Those That means that I've sorted through that set and pulled out the cards that are rares or valuable. And ones that are upside down are sets that I still have to do. All right, and then I'm gonna break into day two's cards. This is a, a big collection. All right, that entire collection has been sorted. This is day one stuff, and this is day two stuff. Like, not just sorted, but distilled. This is all the rares and valuable stuff. So, geez, this is a lot. I'm gonna organize this, and then we're gonna have a summary video. Uh, not video, summary uh, segment. Okay, so this was a very uh, crazy and different way to do things. I literally spent hours and hours hunched over going through these cards on two different days, like maybe 15 hours. Um, he was selling it as singles. This was one of these guys who value singles uh, of commons and stuff too high and rares too low. So, you know, he said, make a stack. I'll tell you how much you want. I'm like, okay, because that's how he's doing his comics. So on the first day... On the first day, I got this stuff for $150. On the second day, I got uh, probably just a few cards in here, but this stuff for $220. Um, so what we're going to do is have two different segments. We'll do day one and day two. They're, you know, they'll both be in this video. It's just I got to break it up. There's a lot of stuff here. I'll keep this card because I found this in the binder and... Quite frankly, it pays for the whole thing. It pays for both days. And so everything else is, um, you know, gains on top. So let's see some of what was in day one. This was an absolutely massive find. I don't know if I will, again, find the same thing as good ever again. So here we go. It's a lot. And there's like even misprints. So we'll get through it together, guys. Just uh, give me a second. Okay. Let's put those over here. Let's take a look at this pile. I believe I separated it by value. So first of all, we have... Um, a misprint here some red magenta got a uh, on there uh, you got some cyan down here and this is over two days these four misprints okay and then on this you have I think this is liquid on the roller and if you see it's splashed because it's there 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 and there's some dots here which is pretty cool this this is a pretty cool misprint. I mean, it's only a common, but still. Um, then you also have this severely miscut Sisters of the Flame from the Dark. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I'd have to look at it really closely. You might just have a sliver of another card, but it doesn't look like it because you have black on the bottom here. Okay. Then there was a couple of Legends cards, an Unlimited card or two. Or three or four, which is cool. I put that aside. There was uh, uh, Naf's Asp, freaking Arabian Nights. This was awesome. This is the rarest. <laughs> Sorry, this is the good stuff. We have uh, a playset of Unlimited Dark Rituals. Very cool. Cyclone, but um, 
foreign it's not chronicles whatever it's black border it's got the arabian night symbol but it's a miss uh, it's a reprint and you see it's uh, italian down here uh, more unlimited so the unlimited and arabian nights is from both days camel arabian nights unlimited stone rain kudzu collector's edition dingus egg collector's edition so this is like the cool stuff i guess the like the different the older stuff that i just kind of put aside i'm trying to figure out how i made these piles because i do face to back back to face so yeah that's how it was supposed to be okay okay oh sorry card didn't mean to do that to you just some random stuff here uh mm, you know a couple of dollars nothing crazy i just put aside the the white border cards that were rares or a couple of dollars uh, i put that aside in its own category i don't know why but i did okay so this is some just good stuff to buy list here that's what this pile is i think uh or the cheaper like uh i don't know I forget what was in here, but, <laughs> uh, you know, rares, couple dollar stuff, maybe. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So now this is becoming a couple more dollars. So I guess we're increasing in value as we go down this pile, kind of. It's good stuff. All this. I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed, even though it was kind of painful, uh, you know, <laughs> leaning over, uh, my back is in pain for hours. At least it was good stuff and worthwhile to be going through. It's, it's pretty good value. I'll be putting, you know, the stuff up on the screen. I'll have a, um, a summary of the whole thing. Like, look, I, I know this pile that I'm going through right now isn't that crazy, but just you wait. Just you wait. Especially when you see the card that was, um, <laughs> just the one card that I said, you know, makes the whole thing worthwhile. Yeah, that thing is ridiculous, so just you wait. We'll get there. Okay. So I think, yeah, these had a couple of dollars couple more dollars than the other cards maybe we'll see we'll get there because we're going through these are like a lot of this is reserve list a lot of this is reserve list i know some of them aren't valuable reserve lists but um yeah this is like you know you should be pulling it out um when you go through stuff like you know these these types of cards i think it's the, there's a lot of overlooked cards here, but there's a lot of cards that, uh, you know, I, I think it was picked through, right, in the past, but I don't know when it was picked through. I know these are cheap here. That's why I went fast. <sighs> we'll eventually get to the valuable ones. I totally forgot how I organized this. <laughs> But look, I'm showing you everything that I got on the first day, on the first day, <laughs> on the second day. This was a massive, massive collection. These are all like rares and stuff, you know? Okay, let's see what we got here. It should be more valuable. Yeah, here we go. This is a couple of dollars. I think. Maybe not. We'll see <laughs> when I do the prizes. I'll know when I get to the big ones, of course, but I I really organized the crap out of what I had. So I just forgot how I organized it, <laughs> which is ridiculous, I guess. Yeah, I know these aren't much. Landlord, Waste, Shiv, and Reef. Those are a couple of dollars, but nothing crazy. I bet you it's in this box, the other box. <laughs> It's looking that way. All right, I uh, I mess you I <laughs> I, I mess with you guys. 
Okay. Well, I guess this was the cool stuff from this box and like the buy listables and whatnot. The the freaking uh, miscuts. Let's put this all aside. Actually, that should go there. But this is gonna be, I think, your the meaty stuff. No buy listing. Okay. Okay. I see where the value is now. <laughs> Oh, 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 check it out. I got Power 9. Huh? And the freaking another Unlimited. A Nalanthi Dragon. That's cool, right? This caused problems back in the day. Okay, hold on, hold on. Mishra's Fabric. We got all this. Power nine here, <laughs> including a Mox Diamond. So now that there's a this, you know this isn't that. <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. Now we're getting into the lower end cards, the ones that uh couple of nice dollars i'm happy that it's there i am not complaining at all yeah there's a couple of lord of the rings cards which is surprising okay these are the better cards of the uncommons i'm gonna put these two right there all right but yeah these are all commons uncommons stuff that i'm going to buy list and uh yeah good stuff it's not in greatest condition so you know uh think about that when you're looking at the buy list price that i put above this is uh remember you got to get about double the value you know when it's uh in light play condition but are you t are you kidding me you see all this crazy value? Uh, just value left and right right there. I guess this might be like cheap rares, a little bit better, but reserve list. This is like buy list. This is like buy list, but valuable, more valuable, I mean. Okay. Yeah, these cards are a couple of dollars, and a lot of them are... Um, reserve list and there's multiple of a lot of the good cards which is cool you don't see that often so if you didn't fast forward yet take a guess at what that card is <laughs> okay Boom. all right Yeah, I should have sorted this a little bit better for the video. <laughs> okay. It's going to get better and better, guys. Thought Lash, always cool. Feldegriffs, Shield Spheres, Mariki Rebirth, Rebirth. To Fury's puzzle box. Look at that art. Just just look at that art. That's crazy. Avatar of Woe. Terravore. Mana Bond. Good card. Dueling Grounds. Phyrexian Arena. Good card. Visions of Beyond. Temple Bell. Summer Bloom. Garolf's Messenger. Wart. We got a Boggart Auntie. Alright, next pile of happiness. And then we, after all these piles, with the value going up, we have a foil pile. And this, these are like near minty, so these are going aside to go into my trade binder or, well, my trade pile. Or what I do with it is I will um, bring it with me to Vegas I'll buy list the cheaper cards on Card Kingdom, and then I'll bring the more expensive one to Vegas for um, for trade for you know some real stuff, something expensive that I want. 
or some sealed product, whatever, whatever I feel like. These are a lot of them are minty too. Look at that. I found an Earthcraft in that collection. How crazy! Aloran as well. They were in actually a uh, deck. Concord and Crossroads, Gate to Phyrexia, Beat Up, Mana Echoes, Fork, yes, Tithe, Preacher, another Altar, Demonic Tutor, yes, I found that actually, I bought two boxes of loose cards, I'm sure you saw it in the fast forward videos, but two boxes of loose cards that um, this was in, which is cool, Brain Geyser, Land Tax, more Arabian Nights, and uh, antiquities and the dark uh, reserve list and then you have tons of value from shocks and fetches that were in decks as well and in the binders so I gave him a stack he said 150 I'm like all righty then let's do this <laughs> uh, the second day you know it was a different story. I, I had to go and really go through what I left. Because he had told me originally that someone was coming to look at these. So the whole time I was there, I was rifling through so quick, thinking that someone was going to start um, going through them as well. And, uh, yeah, so I left a lot. You'll see. I did a great first pass of course i mean what else would you expect of me you know look at this stack of old border foils this is just awesome like really cool even i i'm gonna put these into my binders for my collection you know look at all these foils uh, okay okay we're gonna go through each one because we should right because i know that all these have value some of them are a little beat up. Some of them are in better condition, but yeah, this is cool. And then we have older foils. These are rares. And uh, pre-release. And there's a couple of promos. It's cool. It's cool. I'm happy with it. These are very lower consequence ones and beat up, beat up cards. Okay, so put this down. Oh, 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 and actually one of the better hits was this one, actually in really good condition. Prismatic Strands from Judgment, very nice. You know, this is one of the best uh, commons you can get on older sets. So yeah, that's good. Okay, in that moment you've been waiting for this reveal. I was like saying to myself, there's no way this will be in the binder as I was flipping through Mirage and then to Artifacts, but indeed it was. We found a near mint Lion's Eye Diamond. This, I'm going to try and get graded and see what comes out of this. This is ridiculous. I couldn't believe it was in there. Um, it's in excellent condition. I mean... Uh, that's like dust, yeah. Most of what you're seeing is dust. And there's like a little scratch, I think, over here. Nothing too major, but yes, it will get a lower grade uh, from that. But I'm hoping to get a 9. This is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to put all this away or organize it to the side and go through day 2. Alright, let's do this. Okay, and this is day two, and this is, um, I mean, it's not as fantastic as the first one, of course, but it's still extremely good, don't get me wrong. Uh, actually, let's put this aside. We'll go over the buy list still bowls first, because, yeah. Oh, I guess not. We got some, just some legends and the dark, nothing crazy. These are just good old cards you know I'm gonna grab them of course okay here we go I believe this starts the buy listing slash value right here which it's all good stuff solid nothing crazy some rares that again the white border I kind of kept to the uh, uh, separate 
and um, I didn't really include them in the value. Did I? Are these part of the value? I don't know. I put this aside for some reason. Okay, so this isn't part of the major value. This is cheap stuff right here. This is just some stuff I put aside. Actually, you know what I realized? Apparently, these are valuable. Or so they say. I haven't found anybody willing to take them and buy list, but those are a couple of bucks. Let's put this aside. I'm even just going to put it over there. All right, so this should be the better stuff. Plague Mers, where did you come from? Probably there. Okay. All right, what is going on? Okay, okay. I got to figure out what I did when I organized these again. It's been a few days. All right, let's see what's here. Douthy Embrace, Sadistic Glee, Fire Covenant, Tamio, Primal Rage, a few Thermal Karsts, Vitalize, Goblin Lores, Dust to Dust, Prosperity, Nature's Lore, Cephalid Coliseum. Too bad they got reprinted, huh? Okay, so let's start here. Cabal Ritual, Aura Shards, Filths, three of them, Elvish Promenade, Promenade, whatever you want to say, Mystic Remora, Hedron Crab, uh, withering Boons, Buried Alive, Meltdown, Noxious Revival times 4, Ashnod's Altar times 4, Crimson Wisps times 3, Urza's Bauble times 3, Pyroblast, Crop Rotation, Reign of Filth, Sunscape Familiar, Mana Geyser, Spark Mage, Souls Attendant. Nearly every valuable um, common and uncommon that you can find in terms of sets that uh og foil sets the ones that were in the original um uh fat packs so you know like mirrodin is still far and i mean new phyrexia isn't that far back but it's pretty far back <laughs> so and then stuff like this flaring pain yeah how many Freaking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Flaring pains. That's solid buy list value. Whisper silk cloak. Four of them. Viral Drake. You know, like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another Ashnod's altar. Brainstorm. 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 You know what I'm saying? Two, three, four, five, six. Prismatic strands. Farsi compost. Rancor. Wonder. All these, I assume, are like dollar cards because I put them in the back. So I know the value for this one went down. Hydroblasts, Crimson Acolyte, Standard Bearer, Ancient Dan. I'll have Obsidian Acolyte. I'll have the buy list value up there. So you can see what I'm talking about when I say it's worthwhile to grab even when there's just commons and uncommons because of this type of stuff. You'll see how much this can add up to. This is massive in terms of buy list value. Okay. I don't know why I made these separate piles, but I did. So there they are. Let's go to the next part of day two. This was like a promo or something and worth a few dollars, which is odd. Because it's not that great of a card. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I wonder how I organized this one. It's a it's a pile of secrets. <laughs> so what I have here, this was cool. This was like somebody opened a Mercadian Masks tournament pack, uh, pulled out the rare, uh, one rare, and maybe the foil, and then threw the rest back in. It's all in excellent condition. There's two rares in here. I know they're not great. Fountain Watch and Del Rake. But you got Brainstorms, Ancestral Mask, Dark Ritual, Spider Silk Armor, Counter Spell. And, you know, you have the rest in excellent condition. And I probably got the foil anyway from over there. Okay. That being said, I just kept it aside because I'm going to put this into my binder collection. Anything that's missing from my set, there you go. Because, again, it's near mint. So, you know, when I'm talking my... My non-foil set is all going to be near mint. My foil set, uh, maybe I won't have it near mint. But, you know, that's how you do. Look, look at that. Let's uh, 
save that for later i guess that's the value right there <laughs> the value comes first i don't know there's a lot of value here let's go over to foils how about that i like this because i think this may be a misprint like the text is shifted up i know it's not a big one but hey this is greg and tim hildebrandt art pretty cool phyrexian tyranny snake pit dual nature from beyond fire shrieker elvish arch druid cathodion and then nothing crazy but stuff that i will take nonetheless because very cool foils very cool and this one i don't know it even looked like a a little bit of too much dark ink there at the aggravate anyway let's move along and uh i'll do this combine the foil piles now that we've went over them <laughs> that's basically why i kept them separate for up until now let's just start here memory jar world fire earthcraft final fortune mana echoes times two marilyn of the morn song i think we start hot on this pile and then like kind of calm down as we go dan dan from arabian nights in near mint like that's crazy garblin sharpshooter morality shift times three underground river bubble matrix birds of paradise you know i also didn't think that i got this much value until i got home and i start actually calculating it and it is impressive I have to look at this one to see if it's a Charlie Brown, but, you know, medallions, the old school. Altar of Dementia. And freaking Moxman. Tombstone Stairwell. Dance of the Dead. Eater of the Dead. Cursed Totem. Mesmeric Orb. Forsaken Waste. This has been spiking. Frenetic Afrit. Beacon of Immortality. Do or Die. Carpelucent Forest, Griffin Canyon, Brushland, Awakening, Insidious Dreams, Dust to Dust, uh, a few of those, I think four of them, this one is Binder Dinged, yeah, four of them. Hey look, a lot of these cards aren't in great condition, but I'm, I'm going to take them if it's, um, you know, it's something like this. But yeah, I uh, knocked this one out of the park. This is a big W and probably my best find ever. Uh, it's going to be hard to top this in terms of sheer um, volume of solid cards. Like, this is, this is great. Leeches. We like that card anytime poison comes out. So a lot of this will go into my trade binder. I'm going to keep some. Um, yeah, this is very cool. There's going to be some that's coming with me to Vegas to be traded. And then there's going to be some that I am keeping as well. Very happy with this. Um, yeah, really cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm very interested to hear the comments today. Um, Wow, that's talk about uh, a find. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe. If you're going to buy any cards today, remember to use my TCG Player affiliate link. Otherwise, check out my Patreon and have a lovely day. Peace. Shit, man. Game over, man. Game over. What the fuck are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that? There we go, a little one.